have you ever had to take numbers and add them up based on something else, like an order number or an invoice number? And you just didn't know how to do that in Excel without maybe doing a create subtotal and doing it that way? Well, there's a really easy way to do it. It's a little bit complicated, but it's actually pretty easy once you understand the formula. And it's two formulas in one. It's count if and sum if. I'm Tina with Excelling Your Business, your wizard of automation, and let's get to it and I'll show you how to actually go and do that. So in here I have order numbers 102 and 103, and I want to um, sum column U based on the order number. So I'm doing that in column V, and I've already done it, but I want to show you how it works. So it is saying if at order number, because this is a table, it's not looking at M3, it's saying it's the order number, and the at means the current row that we're in. So at order number equal blank, which this does not, so it's going to skip over this blank, and it's going to go to this if, and it's going to say count if M2 to M3 and M3 equals 1, which it does because this is the first instance of 102. So, because that is true, it's going to go to the sum if. So it's saying take the whole M column and sum if M3, it's equal to M3. So it's going to look at all of these 102s all the way down to row 22, and it's going to sum column U. If that happens to be blank, that order number, it's going to put in a blank. So if I scroll down, you're going to see that there's a whole bunch of blank ones. There's no nothing here. The formula is here, but it's not putting anything there because there's no order number over here. So when I come back here, what this is doing is it's highlighting and adding up all of column U for every cell that is 102. And then this one is 103, so the, it puts the formula in here. So when I click on that, it looks almost exactly the same, except for that 103, the blue part, the order number is right here. So that's where it's looking at. So where it says M23, that's also blue. It's the same as at order number. Um, so you can see that it is just adding those together. So if I highlight all these cells that are 103, Oops, I went one too far. It says it's $2,354, which is exactly what is right there. Same thing with this one. If I go up to the top, it's $3,080, which is right there. That way you don't have to do a running balance. You can make sure that everything balances in your system by hitting, if you have a table and you're using the table total row, these two balance so you know everything is working so if you ever have an issue and you want to be able to make some different calculations based on your data let me know if you're struggling to do that i'd love to help do that because i believe in helping and empowering people to use excel to let excel do the work for you instead of you working excel my, again, my name is Tina with Excelling Your Business. Reach out and let's have a conversation. Otherwise, like this YouTube video, follow my channel, and let's get you excelling your business. Thank you.